Hello and welcome back to Liberty Church Manzini's podcast. I'm so delighted that you are joining us. We are in week number three of our prayer and fasting journey. And this week we are going to be praying for our church. If you are here for the very first time, we would like to give you a very special welcome. We want you to know that we are so delighted you are here and we hope you stick around. Our prayer focus for today is to pray for the Liberty Church Manzini Development Project. Let's look at two scriptures and some reflections coming out of that as we prepare ourselves to fast and pray today. Psalm chapter 127, the first part, the Bible says, Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. And then Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 says, I will build my church. This is Jesus speaking. I will build my church and the powers of hell will not conquer it. Three reflections coming out of these two scriptures. The first one is that as we are praying over the Liberty Church Manzini building project, it is important for us to remember and to realize that it is the Lord who is building. In Psalms, it says, unless the Lord builds. So God is good at building. God has been building since before the beginning of time. And God is the one who is building everything that is happening in Liberty Church Manzini. And so let us pray that the Lord would open our eyes to see the plan that he has. You know, every building has a plan. Every building project comes to the plan. I believe God has the plan for Liberty Church Manzini. Today, let's ask God, Lord, you are the master builder. Open our eyes to see the plan that you have for Liberty Church Manzini. Open our eyes to see the plan that you have for the kids' spaces. Open our eyes to see the plans that you have for the stage. Open our eyes to see Because unless the Lord builds, those who are working work in vain. Their work is wasted. So the first reflection that we can pray according to is just the understanding it is the Lord who is building. So let's ask him to give us the plan. The second reflection is that in as much as it's the Lord who is building, the Lord then continues to say the work of the builders. This speaks to me about that as much as it is the Lord who builds, the Lord builds through people. So we are co-laborers with Christ, Paul says. We, we are the workers who are participating with the Lord in the building according to his plan. So I think the second way in which we can pray is to ask God to strengthen us to build. If he has called us to be laborers, Let's pray that we will have the strength and the wisdom to build this way. You know, we build in different ways. There are some people who build literally, like those who are going to come and actually build the building. But then many of us build through our prayers, build through our giving, build through the support that we give to those who are building, the encouragement when we come and we're like, oh guys, good job, it looks nice. We build through sharing the ideas that the Lord places on our hearts. Let's pray that God will give us the strength and the wisdom to build in the way that he has enabled us to. Because he is the Lord, the builder, and he has chosen He is going to do it through people. So what an honor, what a privilege to be one of those who has been chosen to build for the Lord. To be one of those who has been chosen to be a co-laborer with Christ. So that's the second reflection. Lord, strengthen us to build. Strengthen our finances, Lord. Strengthen our understanding of how to build our understanding of how to plan so that this building will come out the way that you intended. And then finally, from Matthew, we realize that Jesus alludes to the powers of hell. He says, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. That speaks to me about the battle. 
that as we are building, we are going to face opposition. When Nehemiah was rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem, he faced opposition. And everyone else who is built for the Lord is going to face a similar opposition. Let's pray that God would help us to be victorious over all the powers of hell as we build for him. As we work in the way that he has called us to work, let's pray for protection. Let's pray that the monies that are given will be protected from inflation. Let's pray that as the builders are building, they will be literally protected from danger. You know, as people are climbing up a scaffolding, anything could happen. But in the name of Jesus, all the powers of hell will not conquer the building project that is happening in Liberty Church Manzini. So let's pray that God would make us victorious. Let's pray that God would help us to walk in victory, that this journey of building will not be a stressful one. Let's pray that it will be a journey of joy. It will be a journey of making memories, of learning to trust God and praising him through the whole way. I think these are three reflections that we can use to pray over the building project in Liberty Church Manzini today, along with everything else that the Lord reveals to you as you are praying and fasting today. Thank you for joining us and as we continue in this journey, we're in the final stretch. We are starting today on day number 15 and I'm looking forward to getting to day 21 together with you. May the Lord richly bless you. Let's take a moment to pray before we round off the podcast. Lord, your word tells us that unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is in vain. We ask, O oh God, that you'd open our eyes to see how you are building. Open our eyes to see the plan that you have for this building in the Party Church Manzini. And may you help us to work in such a way that our work is not wasted. I pray that as co-laborers with Christ, we will be in agreement with the plan that Christ has. Remind us that Christ is the senior partner. We are the junior partners. We are here to do your will. We delight in seeing your will being done. Let your will be done. Let your plan be fulfilled, Lord. In the building that is going to be built in Liberty Church Manzini, let it come out exactly the way that you intended. And Lord, we pray that truly it will be true of us, that all the powers of hell will not conquer what you are building. That in the name of Jesus, the enemy will be defeated. We say the Lord rebuke you, Satan. That anything that you are trying to do, Satan, by the power of the name of Jesus, by the power of the word of God, by the power of the blood of Jesus, we declare you defeated. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you today as you pray and fast over the building project of Liberty Church Manzin.